Well, hopefully most of us will never experience life behind bars. But one South Bend man who did says it changed his life for the better. Don Meyer joins us now with his story of faith. Don. Terry, 30-year-old Curtis Trent is now a free man. Spending three years in prison at Westville, he found God and through his faith turned his life around. Today he dedicates his time to helping others, hoping to convince them not to make the same mistakes he did. in prison, Curtis was determined to have time serve him rather than him serve time. Curtis received his GED and was eventually released, but this time life would have a new meaning. Actually, I'm very glad that you asked that question uh, because it's time for a new strategy, man. Things have got to change, man. Um, when you look around the community, there's nothing but uh, pain and despair, hopelessness. Children are dying every day uh, from here in uh, South Bend to Chicago, Newark, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Detroit, Miami, Compton, uh, you name it, man, Cleveland. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a genocide taking place, man. And uh, well, I say a genocide, but actually, it's more of a suicide because we're killing our own selves. Um, and so we we got to strategize, man. We got to come together, man. And it, we we can't keep burying our kids, man. Um, and uh, so I think the first thing you got to do is when when they're trying to reach these kids, man, and just keep it real with them. You know, there's a saying on the streets that game recognizes game. And so kids today, they know when you're real. They know when you know. And so, uh, you know, growing up the way that I grew up, uh, you know, joined the gang, uh, sold drugs, carried pistols, dropped out of school, went to prison. Um, you know, I don't necessarily have a college degree in psychology, but man, uh, I know what's happening on the streets. And so I think that kind of makes me effective and reaching out to kids. So yeah, I'm glad you asked that question, man. Uh, uh, I am committed uh, to being a part of that change, man, because it has to happen. We cannot continue to bury our kids. <laughs> 